My last video, I went from rookie to legendary with the Kilo. But now I want to do it with the first gun that you unlock in Call of Duty Mobile. The M4. Average among every single category of usage in ranked. This thing sucks. Or does it? Throughout this challenge, I'm going to use it with no attachments, fastest class, show you my favorite loadout, and basically try and beat the stats that I had with the Kilo. So I hopped straight into public match with my brand new account and ranked my way up to level 10. I'm going to say this one more time. Can we replace Nuketown Rush? at least for Nooktown Temple. I'd rather have the original one, but at least Nooktown Temple. After this, I decided to go to bed, wake up fresh early the next day, and start my road from rookie to legendary. Today's video is actually sponsored by Rocket League Sideswipe. This fast-paced, easy-to-learn, ball-shooting extravaganza is just what you need to fill up time between your days. There's 1v1s and 2v2s. You can battle against your friends or team up together and take on the world. Playing regularly will allow you to unlock things in the Rocket Pass like some spicy looking cars. You can even customize them and make them truly your own with wheels, colors, and decals. This uniquely situated mobile game brings the best out of your creativity and fun loving nature. You can download it at the top of the description down below. And as always, I only take sponsorships from things I actually like. So you should definitely check it out. With the name M4 RTL, I set out amongst the rookie ranks to achieve greatness and was quickly welcomed by an army of bots that looked like this. Only able to play Team Deathmatch, I wanted to get through this quick. And get through this quick is what I'd done. Five matches in, we achieved Veteran with a KD ratio of 36.4. There's actually a glitch in the system that I don't even think Call of Duty Mobile realizes. But when you're in these lower ranks, you actually get a death for ending a game. And if this wasn't the case, I'm sure my KD would have been in the high 50s, maybe 60s. But that's because we were playing against bots. And in Veteran, they take it up a notch. There's higher caliber players in there right as known previously through using the kilo i knew this was going to be a long journey especially considering that the m4 is uh not particularly highly praised among anyone in the community as being a good gun however i managed to get 69 and 1 should have been 69 and 0 if it wasn't for that devilish dog against 100 real players look at these names at a lightning pace i swiftly moved in to the elite rank feeling good about myself we blasted through the opposition not dropping a single game and no no terrible bugs or glitches with my recording software or iPad. So far, this had been my favorite place to play because there was less AI and more real people to stomp on. With the win streak of 22, I waddled my way into Pro League with the CMKD as my win streak. And I just had one thing in my mind. Could I possibly keep the KD above 20 by the time I hit Master? My first few games in this league went fine. Nothing special, but nothing terrible either. However, I hopped into firing range. And I just want to ask, who the hell uses double thermite in Pro League? And a shotgun? Oh my. But that was nothing. The most god tier of all god tier players, after being absolutely obliterated, decided to say this. I want him to know that the only thing being hacked is your mind. Because I'm living rent free inside your head. After this, I decided to take a rest and move into the next day. Starting off with a bit of a laggy game. It wasn't looking good, but I took some water, refreshed myself, ended up creaming the enemies like potatoes, dropping a nook, and finding my way to clutching a very tight terminal game. Surely this would set me up for success. I find myself discombobulating the enemies in vacant. Unfortunately for me, somebody decided to bring down the superhero spikes and stop my damn streak. But I was still happy with the performance. And going in to the next game, I seen a season one battle pass holder, which I thought would be pretty good at the game. Unfortunately for him, he went two and 14. This guy had the season one ghost skin and he went two and 14. It must have been somebody's little brother. There is no possible way a season one battle pass holder could go two and 14 in a pro lobby. As the upward trajectory slowed, it did not just come spiraling down. It went crashing. Firing range among these challenges is for some reason my worst map. And I actually kind of like it. I just don't perform well. So I got pretty annoyed. Constant deaths. Hitting my life. But luckily, with some great efforts, we kept our 20kd going in to masters. And the first lobby of this rank was a 44-0 performance. While my whole team went negative. And we barely managed to win. Up until this point, I hadn't lost a game. My slaying capabilities were able to keep the 
entire enemy team off the majority of points. Then I lost my win streak in the worst way possible. Looking like the origin story for your favorite anime, I was distraught. Headset flung. Ah! It completely snapped off. And I decided I had enough for that day. I walked my way into the gym, worked out, brought myself back to a level of peace, and decided that tomorrow I would go in with an equal level head and pursue the rest of this challenge. That is exactly what didn't happen. First game, terrible. Barely won, but I was just warming up. Bounced into Nooktown, Russia. <laughs> My favorite map, Rage Quit. That's right, I left a master lobby game. The lag was unbearable. I don't know what was going on, but I was out. The only thing that could bring me some source of happiness was looking at my teammate and the enemy team's player. What the f*** is that? Chilling prone right beside each other on top of the second hard point in terminal. I mean, how does that even happen? How do you not see each other right there? Kind of funny though. Unfortunately, I experienced some weird wacky glitch where the swarm sound would continuously play on slow. Slums. I never want that to happen again. Then I hit another wall, or at least I thought so, with a Nooktown Russia game again. But this time, I was all out of rage, and I decided to channel my energy into playing like a god. Cluster strike in hand, spawn points already planned. It was a massacre, complete and utter genocide. With a 64 and three performance, we kept the momentum running into Hobic Sawmill, which started off with a 42 and 0. Unfortunately, your boy's allergic to objective based play and we ended up losing that game and i died a lot towards the end trying to save it but i thought when i see nooktown russia again i could go 64 and 3 once more <laughs> no i got completely smoked i'm not talking about thin cigarette smoke we're talking about cuban cigar who in the mouth let at the same time smoked in fact i actually write down some notes after some interesting games and this is what i wrote down for that one however what happens to smoke when it comes out it rises and rise is exactly what we did with a blistering performance shooting by KD up to the sky we went on a astronomically insane streak the kills were flooding the enemies were judging whether or not I was hacking because I went 52 and 0 now at this point it seemed reasonable that maybe a couple of people would have reported me by now but it didn't really worry me the only thing on my mind was my losses because I lost again after fighting my hardest on slums capping difficult flags slaying out in the spawns it wasn't looking good and then when all else failed and the entire enemy team went negative my teammates being awful i went 68 and 4 not even enjoying myself i ended up stopping playing going back into the gym letting out all that anger rage suffering pain and resting for the other half of the day hopping on waking up bright and early i went 57 and 2 losing with a nook and then i spotted a player i hadn't seen in nearly two years and god this guy was on the leaderboards back in season one and i'm not talking about season one of 20 20 or 2021 or anything like that. We're talking 2019 leaderboards season one. He even has the rarest skin in the game. The battery skin from the first month of the game's release. I thought I could take him. I was slaying out. Completely obliterating. But unfortunately, I lost. I even nooked. It was just not meant to be. And then we played against him again. After looking at the leaderboard, you would have thought that I had the upper hand and we just unfortunately took the L. But we went into the next lobby. I got annihilated. So crushed momentum shattered for the entire challenge i questioned why i even played the game so i decided to hop on the fast m4 loadout the fastest one i could make dropped 70 kills but i was still crumbling at the fact i'd lost two back-to-back -back games against somebody who's been playing the game the same length as me by the fourth lobby i finally started to turn it around to a degree that i could be happy with quick nook and a solid win led me in to a solid stretch of games i ended up choking a nook but i was winning and everything was seemingly good until this very suspect situation happened in crossfire what the frick? where i feel like this guy could have been called out for hacking i'm not gonna say that he was maybe he somehow knew i was there advanced uav normal uav there could have been something going on i have no idea but the shots through the wall were accurate but that just started a bad downhill cycle and with the only thing breaking it being an epic comeback on standoff down to the wire close as could be i was still getting rocked then finally out of the blue I seen a Ferg skin in my game. So I had to show him who the real Ferg was. Every time I seen him, death reigned among him. The enemy team didn't know what hit them. And on my way to my final master game to hit 
Grandmaster, we went 51 and two. By this point, I thought my fate was sealed. We were gonna get legendary with better stats than the Kilo, more nukes, great gameplay, and a story filled with ups and downs, which would make for a phenomenal video. But then I decided to stream my Grandmaster games. This didn't start out the way I wanted it to, as in shithouse, some guy got a weird spinal surgery, which caused his neck to just discombobulate all over my screen. And it distracted me so much that I continuously died to him. What the f***? Man, going into firing range, I was getting triples to defend the B flag. Seven kill multis using the purifier and cluster strike. Unfortunately, I died one off a nook, running into a cluster strike that I thought wouldn't be able to reach me that far. But the spawn trapping continued with my purifier M4 and predator missile combo. And we continued getting multi kills with the M4 on hard points and shit house, hackney yard and summit. I was having a blast talking to chat, playing my favorite mobile game until I smacked my knee against the bottom of my desk. Ah, f***. Ow! I swear I almost started crying. This ended up being the first loss of the stream. After going on many more streaks, the only thing that seemed to stop me was the K9 unit. What the f***? We decided to add a Terminator dog to ranked. Further going downhill, I lost it. When a player I had not died to once in a game killed me with a persistent swarm three times in a row. Oh my god. Oh Man. The rage was not too good for this one. After a nook on crash and a great killing spree when stealing the enemy's Goliath, I went 47 and 0. For some reason, people seem to think that I am a hacker while I use my alternate accounts to go from rookie to legendary. And I agree. At this point, the lobbies had become overrun with stream snipers. With every game, people were just recognizing me. And I ended up calling it quits when they started using persistence VTOLs and causing me to leave the game. At this point, I was Grandmaster 4. And I decided I would finish this at the end of the day. But as I was sitting down at my desk, I seen a loading screen pop up. So I refreshed and here's what happened. I guess sometimes you just can't complete a challenge in the time frame that you want. But I will do this again. And in the next episode, I will show you the stats of the M4 after hitting legendary. And then we can forget I even ever attempted this challenge with this particular gun.